Postal problems just won't let up, and tonight, city leaders and community members are calling out top postal service officials for canceling a scheduled meeting that was set to address all their concerns. WJC's Live, new at 11, Amy Kawada tells us there was still a meeting, but it had a much different tone than originally planned. Amy. Vic, Councilwoman Odette Ramos says it feels like a slap in the face having the meeting canceled last minute. And city leaders say these postal service issues started long before the pandemic and have only gotten worse. Something has to be done about this, and it is unacceptable. Fed up and frustrated. The U.S. Postal Service used to be the most trusted service in U.S. government. As problems at post offices across Baltimore, from Dundalk to Waverly, persist. Why should we be cut back in service when we spent thousands of dollars to upgrade our mailboxes? We now are getting poor service to find our boxes left on the floor in the hallway. When you have to change your bank account because your information has gone to someone else, there's a big problem. That's why Councilwoman Odette Ramos and Senator Chris Van Hollen worked for months to schedule a virtual community meeting with Postal Service officials to discuss lengthy mail service delays and other issues. We wanted Postal Service uh, directors that are over our post offices to hear the real stories and the real frustration that residents are feeling. But learned hours before, it wasn't happening. This morning, they canceled. That to me was just a slap in the face and the fact that they did not want to be held accountable and actually work with us. Instead, other city leaders and community members joined Ramos outside the Waverly Post Office in North Baltimore to call out USPS. So when we have a failing postal system, that means our people are being failed. It is entirely unacceptable. Mr. DeJoy should be ashamed of the operation that he's run. We call on Congress to take action. We call on President Biden to take action. And WJZ reached out to USPS for comment and have not heard back yet. Councilwoman Ramos also says that they plan to continue reaching out to the Postal Service to reschedule a meeting and address these concerns. Reporting live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.